open space, several makeshift theater stages. Known as Freedom Park, the venue of the theater festival in downtown Lagos is steeped in history. It used to be a prison in colonial times and had some very high profile politicians as inmates, but it's since been converted into a memorial and leisure park and is now synonymous with the arts. <laughs> It's here that the largest gathering of theatre artists and lovers of the arts have converged for the Lagos Theatre Festival. You should go and attend to them. Just tell them I've not collected salary for this month. But if I go, they'll keep them and take me for ransom now. It's better they take you for ransom than they give me for purpose. Soon. All the stages for the various performances here are unconventional and makeshift. There are several of them in the park with various performances going on almost simultaneously. What began as a quest for international connections for the local theatre sector by the British Council some five years ago has now developed into a revival of the theatre culture in Nigeria. Six days, 12 venues, 100 shows. That's the summary of the 2018 Lagos Theatre Festival. It's been an exciting period for lovers of theatre and what the organisers hope to achieve with this is not just to promote theatre performance in Lagos but to promote it across the country, to get Nigerians to begin to appreciate theatre performance again and not just appreciate but come out actually to watch, at least pay to watch theatre performances around the country and somehow they say they're making a very huge headway. The first year we had, we're working with about 50 performers in total, all the shows, all the, the team, everything was less than, fewer than 50 people. This year we're working with about 600 people to put on the festival. So just in terms of response from artists and from cultural professionals that are putting on the work, presenting the work in front of the stage and backstage has been phenomenal. In terms of audiences, the first festival, we had only a couple hundred people, 200 and something, maybe 300. The last festival, we had 5,500 people. This festival, we're aiming for 7,000 people. Swear to say the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Indeed, the festival is growing. This year, there have been performances from the United Kingdom, the United States, Ghana and a couple of other countries. New local talents are also springing up from the festival, just as the experienced ones are getting more platforms to express their skills. It's just great to see practitioners from all across, I guess, Lagos and by extension parts of Nigeria who come out to figure out what they want to watch, you know, what they're interested in. So it's, uh, it's really nice. I think that it is probably reviving the theatre culture here. Um, which obviously is very challenged on very many degrees. There's a lot of young people that want to do theatre. They want to, you know, do dance, music, drama, a lot of talents, you know, and this platform is the biggest platform in Nigeria, you know, to give them that space. You can perform anywhere. We can beat our chest and say there's an audience for theatre. How to now cultivate them properly, how to sustain their interest is what we need to do. But this is just once in a year. But I know that because of this, other theater festivals have also been born. There are about two others that are coming up because of the success of this one. The festival is gradually getting international recognition. The British Council plans to hand over the whole project to an independent Nigerian team to continue to run it from next year. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.